Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries September 28, 2022. Communications can be playful and also useful. Today's energies favor reflection, light conversation, and observation. A new moon will occur tomorrow, and this means we are symbolically in the dark. While it's a good time for putting out worn attitudes, bad habits, and overwhelming projects behind you, today's not ideal for brand new initiatives that you want to last, grow, and prosper over time. There can be a real buzz of ideas with you today, nonetheless, but don't feel pressured to make sense of it all, as there are still some missing puzzle pieces. Ahead of you is a more home or family-focused period. Today, your charm shines through your communications and gestures. There can be relief about sharing a particular topic now, or you could be a go-between helping others to come to a compromise or state of peace. The astrological transits from the last few days have left you with food for thought. But there are not any major transits or aspects going on today, which is perfect for considering everything. The moon is in just Libra, which is asking you to come up with the pros and cons of everything going on at work. The lunation is perfect to take a step back to re-evaluate everything going on at work, especially your commitments, contracts, and partnerships. As you embrace this lunar energy, you should keep reciprocity in mind when mulling over your professional obligations. As Neptune moves into his final four weeks in your financial sector he is slowing down and this might see money matters stall or move more slowly over the coming weeks. As this is not just preparation for Neptune's direct turn but with Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion returning next week what you are unlikely to see drop off is your confidence. You will probably be frustrated by all the misfiring that goes on due to the celestial atmosphere prevailing today. This is a perfect opportunity to learn about yourself and how you respond to frustration. One thing to notice is how the food you eat supports you or sabotages you under circumstances of frustration. Try to reduce your sugar intake and increase your intake of raw fruits and vegetables. Meanwhile, drink plenty of water. With a healthy diet, what once frustrated you could become merely amusing. Knowing that when she returns to your work sector tomorrow for what is normally a 24-day visit she won't leave until March 2022, Venus is even more determined to make her last full day in a fun, playful, romantic and creatively charged part of your chart count. It is not just work and job developments that will open up over the coming weeks but on the career front as well with a chance to make a balance between work and play a priority while you can. As she spends her last full day in your romantic sector Venus knows that the planetary activity here won't end with her departure and if anything, it will surge again in the final months of the year. This takes away any urgency but the planet of love is urging you to embrace the spirit of romance with the kind of blind faith that comes from knowing there is backup. You could be contemplating a long overdue conversation with your special someone. For Luna is sitting alongside Venus Mercury via your curious third house of communication, thought process, and immediate surroundings, bringing passion and clarity to themes surrounding your community affairs and one-on-one -on -one exchanges. Whether you're single or already in a romantic connection, you're being guided to collaborate with a significant other but Luna's square to powerhouse Pluto could create a bit of chaos in the process. Steer away from overanalyzing things and keep your eyes on the prize. Rome wasn't built in a day, and well, you know the drill. The aspect at play reminds us that there are always two ways to do something, if not more. You can either work out or not. You can eat healthy food, or not. Then there are decisions we make unconsciously, how do you sit in your chair when you work? Do you use good posture, with a strong back and the abdominal muscles slightly flexed? Or do you slouch and let your shoulders cave in? Pay attention while you still have a choice. Our eyes in the sky. O'Day brings the moon in Libra creating a grand air trine with Venus and Saturn. This is a beautiful energy to lift your spirits. You might be able to step back from your problems and see them from a more analytical perspective. There's a strong feeling of harmony, 
with the sun and moon in Libra bringing many gifts of happiness and community. You might even be able to express some of the things you've been holding back over the last few days. As Venus in Gemini gently connects with Saturn in Aquarius, there is a refreshing ease of mind. You're able to work around your problems and see the more evolved side of the lesson. Remember that there is some kind of duality in everything. Whether you're taking the good with the bad or understanding the lessons of the shadow side, you have much to appreciate right now. You might even strengthen your connection to a wider group of like-minded individuals who also see the world from a more spiritual perspective, so be open to the people you meet online or off. Secret admirers can come out of the woodworks with little or no warning during transits like these. This week brings you a sigh of relief. You'll find out that change is possible. If you've been lax about stabilizing your career and looking toward advancement, it's time to make a shift. If your career doesn't want to cooperate, you need to map out the steps for change. Money follows when you get in touch with your emotions. Whatever makes you happy will give meaning to your working life. Before noon, retrograde Mercury aligns with Venus in Virgo, helping us to communicate our feelings and desires. However, because Mercury is retrograde, we may also be re-evaluating our affections and determining where others fit into our lives. Planets in Virgo crave structure, and under this influence, we may assess whether romance has become ritualistic instead of helping us to grow. Fortunately, we can discuss sensitive issues with our partners now without hurting their feelings, but we may still come off as more critical than we intend. Maintaining a little bit of self-awareness should help to mitigate this problem. If someone does permit us to assist them, we will make sure they don't forget it. Reminders of how giving and generous we are subtly imply that we are owed a debt of gratitude, which inevitably breeds resentment, making the other party wish they hadn't asked in the first place. We should monitor our actions closely today. Self-reflection is the only way to determine whether we are out of line or overstepping another's boundaries. Before noon, retrograde Mercury aligns with Venus in Virgo, helping us to communicate our feelings and desires. However, because Mercury is retrograde, we may also be re-evaluating our affections and determining where others fit into our lives. Planets in Virgo crave structure, and under this influence, we may assess whether romance has become ritualistic instead of helping us to grow. Fortunately, we can discuss sensitive issues with our partners now without hurting their feelings, but we may still come off as more critical than we intend. Maintaining a little bit of self-awareness should help to mitigate this problem.